temples in and around Udupi. Part 4. Belur Temple. Velur, called by various names as Velapuri, Velur, Velapur, and Dakshina Varanasi in olden days. Velur is situated on banks of the Yagachi River, at a distance of about 38 kilometers from Hassan and 222 kilometers from Bangalore. It is famous for its Hoysala temple. The main temple of the town is Chenna Keshwa originally called Vijaya Narayana, which was erected during the reign of the great Hoysala king Vishnuvardhana, with the blessings of Sri Ramanujacharya, during 11th century. The Hoysala kingdom, though relatively small in area, contributed immensely to fine arts like music, dance, sculpture, architecture, and literature. Shanthala, the Queen of King Vishnuvardhana was the symbol of all that was great in Karnataka culture. Her mother was a Jena, her father a Shaiva and her husband a Vaishnava. This religious harmony has been the keynote of Karnataka culture throughout its history. Her husband Vishnuvardhana built the beautiful temple at Belu. Chenna Keshwa Swami is about 3.7 meters high was caused to be installed by the same Hoysala king Vishnuvardhana to commemorate his victories on the Cholas. Owing to its sanctity the place is described in later inscriptions as the modern earthly Vakuntha, the great holy seat in the three worlds. The Keswar temple at Belur is one of the most exquisite specimens of the Hoysala style of architecture. From the fine inscription on the east wall, to the left of the north entrance of the central hall, we learn that the Hoysala king Vishnuvardhana caused the temple to be erected and set up the god Vijayanarayana in it in 11th century. The Keshava temple is situated enclosed by a high wall, surrounded by several temples, minor shrines, mantapas or halls, and subsidiary buildings. By the end of 13th century came the Muslim invasion to the south, resulting in the end of both the Hoysala and the Yadava dynasties. Many temples were raised to the ground. Many manuscripts of valuable works were either burnt down or destroyed. When in 1336 AD, the Vijaya Nagra dynasty was founded with the sole motto of saving the Sanatna Dharma from extinction, the founding of the dynasty was at once hailed as Godsin. Karnataka culture heaved a sigh of relief after going through the agony of the onslaught of an alien, hostile culture. We have to thank and do namaskara to great Saint Sri Vyasraja, who was the Raja Guru of great King Krishnadevraya kingdom, who guided the king on various aspects and protected Hinduism. Lord Keshava honors his Bhakta Sri Vadhiraja. When Vadhiraja came over to Belur, it was the day of Rathotsava. 
Rathotsava is the procession of idol in the chariot. Thousands of people had gathered to see the grand event and in this process completely ignored the arrival of Shri Vadhiraja. In fact, he wasn't allowed to participate in this event. Shri Swamiji did not worry for this incident but prayed Lord to bless every bhakta. This shows his great quality. Shri Vadhiraja and his shishyas decided to stay over in the outskirts of the town. When people pulled the chariot of Shri Keshava, the chariot did not move an inch. People got an elephant to help move the chariot and that too did not help. All the people with the elders tried to sort out the problem and came to the conclusion that Shri Krishna is angry with them that they have not honored Shri Vadhiraja. Devotees went to Shri Swamiji and requested His Holiness to conduct the festival. Immediately Shri Vadhiraja was requested to take charge of the proceedings. Shri Vadhiraja happily agreed and composed a song Begha Baro Begha Baro, Shri Velapura Chenna. Chariot started to move and the Rathotsava of Belur temple proceeded extremely well. All the devotees who participated in the event thanked Shri Swamiji and they did Sastan Namaskara for their fault. Shri Swamiji blessed all of them with his beautiful and smiling face. Shri Vakunta Dasa there lived a great Haridasa who belonged to Sri Vaishnav Parampara at Belur. He was considered as a divine poet in Karnataka, whom are called Alvars in Tamil Nadu. He is none other than Sri Vakunta Dasa. He is from Belur and attained a Paroksha Jnana at Belur Temple, and hence he was renamed as Vakunta Dasa as praying to Chenna Keshava Lord gives his place in Vakunta. Shri Vakunta Dasa has performed many miracles and also composed many beautiful songs on Keshava Swami. All his lifetime he only stayed in Belu and did seva to Lord Shri Hariya. When Vyasraja, Kanaka Dasa, Vadhiraja, and Purandar Dasa visited Belur, Shri Vakunta Dasa had come over and they all have exchanged many beautiful compositions of Lord Keshava. If Vakunta Dasa could not make the visit, Kanaka Dasa and Purandara Dasa used to go to Vakunta Dasa's home for curtsy. Shri Purandara Dasa has composed thousands of songs on Keshava Swami. It is said both Shri Purandara Dasa and Shri Kanaka Dasa used to travel spiritual yatra together. Purandara Dasa never seen the discrimination as Kanaka belonged to lower caste. This proves that Lord only needs divine bhakti and jnana not the caste for attaining self-realization. It was Guru Shri Vyasraja who gave the Diksha to Kanaka Dasa, knowing Kanaka's caste. Vyasraja only seen the Vairagya of Kanaka Dasa, not his caste. Kanaka Dasa is a great Vairagya Shali, there is not even an iota of doubt in that. 
Shri Kanaka Dasar is the example for everyone who sees discrimination among human beings. He proved Lord's feet can be reached by every soul, which takes birth in Kaliuga. Every song of Kanaka Dasar conveyed this message very strongly. Kanaka Dasar in the Mudrika, Vilapura Chenna, Adikeshwa, composed many songs on Lord Keshava at this temple. His masterpiece Haribhakti Sara was composed at the same place. Shri Vakunta Dasa and Kanaka Dasa developed friendly relationship and did seva to Lord here. Let us all develop such nature among us and pray our Guru Shri Madhvacharya to show the lotus feet of Shri Chenna Keshava. Let us all have Dharshan of Lord at Belu and let us protect our temples. Hare Srinivasa Please share this video with your friends and relatives. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website dvatavedanta.com. भजताम कल्प वृक्षाय नमताम कामधेनवी